Hi, yeah. today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Vista PE bootable CD. It's a pre-installed environment CD that's going to really help you out if you've got viruses on your system or your PC doesn't boot or anything of that nature. And you can use the Vista PE bootable disk to actually clear off any viruses and fix registry problems or anything like that, how DLL missing and stuff like that. You can actually fix a lot of these errors with this bootable CD. So. I've shown you how to create a Windows XP version, a live XP CD. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do the Vista version. You can also make a, a bootable USB version of this if you wanted to. Um, but I always like to have a, a CD version just in case the PC doesn't use a uh, boot to USB. So let's get started. The first place you're going to need to head over to is winbuilder.net. Go there, hit the download tab at the top, and you want to be clicking on probably version 074 because that seems to have the best rated version there download like so and click save to your desktop once you've done that unroll the file and you need to be putting this in your C root directory now make a folder in your C root directory okay uh, call it win builder you can do that by just hitting right click and folder okay and then just rename it or hit this little tab here and make a folder in there and name it WinBuilder. Drop the actual file inside there. Now you're probably only going to have this WinBuilder.exe file in there at this present time. This is what happens once you create the actual um, the actual uh, files that you need. So what we're going to do now is click on the WinBuilder. If you have got a file, we're going to need to allow this to access the internet because you're going to need to download everything that you need to download to make this program. So what you need to do now is have a Vista CD to hand as well and make sure that you've put that in your CD drive and locate to that path where the actual CD is okay also leave this as it is and leave that as it is okay once you've done that pretty much go to um, let's have a look downloads up the top and what you need to do is go servers and put the tick in Vista PE okay because that's the one you want to create if you want to create live XP then obviously you put the tick in there but we're talking about Vista PE today and uh, put the updates one in there and click on the download tab okay once you've done that you will obviously have a selection of stuff here to actually select what you want to download what I'd suggest you do is select your custom uh, CD what you want to build so you'll be seeing stuff like this now you can see there's no ticks in some of them that's because I didn't download all of them if you want to download them then obviously put the ticks in them so you can customize it exactly how you want okay once you've done that you're gonna need to build the actual um, CD and this you do that by pushing play but first off as I said you need to go to paths and have the Vista CD in the drive and point it to there or drag all the contents of the disk onto your uh, onto your desktop somewhere and point to that folder okay once you've done that you're pretty much good to go click the part that you want to do okay how you want to set this up using whatever you want to use okay and also come to finalize and make sure you've got create an ISO image okay that's what you want to do you want to make sure that you create an ISO image so let's have a little look what else and you can see here make a boot USB bootable device you've got all this stuff but we'll do that in another video okay we're just going to be talking about the CD um, in this version of a uh, CD we're going to be creating so you need to put your ticks in on all the applications as I said and then push play once you've done that you just make sure you'll be seeing something of this nature this is now creating and building the actual uh, CD that we're going to ISO image or CD that we're going to be making okay I'm going to pause this at this stage because you know I'll watch this building the CD okay so we've got our CD all created and ready to go now it's lefties and these files will now be in your C root directory like so in your win builder folder you will now have these folders in here that's because it's just created all this stuff for you 
okay and this is where your ISO image will be you've got your target and this is where your USB part will be okay so what I'm going to do now is boot up the actual ISO image so you can actually see what it would look like if you actually put it into a CD-ROM drive okay and we're going to actually boot to that image um, and see how it looks so let me just get the CD ready and uh, I'll see you back in a sec okay I've got my virtual machine all set up now and what I'm going to do is boot to that to that ISO image so you would need to burn this ISO image to a CD and this is the sort of look you're going to get once you boot up so if you boot to the CD as first option this is what the screen you're going to see and it's going to be the same pretty much the same if you had a USB device it will actually look exactly the same as this but we'll do that on another video how to create a USB version of it so I'm just going to let this load in it will take some time because it's loading into memory so give it a good, good few minutes I would say to load in once it's loading in it should be pretty fast and stable okay so here you go that's we're going to leave this as it is here like so click OK I'm not going to change anything you can change the screen size if you want it to you will get a little um, link up there that's part of what it is there and you see the guy that's Vista PE or see a name there Nightman he's put his name to this one you can take these out if you wanted to but I can't see the point in it these give these guys the credit they've made it so and there you go that's pretty much it really there's a few different versions out there you can actually look at and you can actually add and customize it exactly how you want you can actually add more um, files in you want you can add antiviruses and all sorts of stuff in exactly how you want to do it okay and this is exactly a pre-installed environment so we would need to do here you can actually see um, the system files as well um, for for the other machine if you wanted to and locate there and actually drag files across and do date recovery and all sorts of stuff and obviously this is just a quick tutorial so if you can customize it exactly how you want um, exactly how you want it as well and add the files in that you you particularly want to use okay anyway I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching if you like my videos please head over to my channel and subscribe to uh, to my videos that will be coming um, pretty much every day I'll be making some new videos and also if you've got any questions leave us a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions for you if any requests for videos shoot us a message and I'll uh, do my best to make that video for you depending it's computer related okay thanks very much for watching bye for now